This meeting is being recorded. This meeting is being recorded. Yes, it is. Okay. Here we go. It's been a while. It's been a while. I might be out of practice. Okay. Rebel commitments. Wow. What are these? In order to maintain clarity of purpose, we ask that every member of the Rebel community make the following commitments. Commitment number one, I will protect the value of my services. I will never provide free services as this would only serve to erode the value of similar services industry-wide. Commitment number two, I will practice incredible transparency. I will explain our processes and details to my clients. I will never hide details or manipulate reports. I will never communicate with a third party without also communicating with my client. Commitment number three, I do not believe in competition. The restoration professionals in my market are part of my community. I will be an active member of that community is our unbreakable unity that will create the change that we are striving for. Commitment number four, I am willing to walk away from any project, any client, any contract that is not compatible with my values and stated mission. Good business does not require us to give up money, sleep, or our humanity. It does not. I got to tell you, we are three years into this thing. Three years. And those four statements couldn't be any more true than they are today. We are proving through consistency and action and unity and purpose that what we are doing is right and what we are trying to move this industry towards is where the mo industry is moving towards anyway. We are moving towards a customer-centric mindset. I just spent 30 minutes prior to this phone call watching Gary Vaynerchuk give a keynote speech. It's from last September, I believe, in London. And he spent the first 15 minutes of this keynote speech preaching that we are still in this, this, this honeymoon phase of cheap eyeballs on Facebook and Instagram ads. He said it's only a matter of time, maybe a matter of months, before. Hold on a second, I'm mute. I'm just going to mute everyone because I keep hearing something. It's only a matter of months before the big advertisers. We're talking the Coca Colas, the Pumas, the the just the people with nine hundred million dollars to spend on advertising, are going to jump into the ecosystem of Facebook and Instagram because that is still the cheapest attention you can buy. We have time as small little non $900 million budget marketing people to get into the game and penetrate our local markets if we're willing to do so. So tonight I'm going to show you what my Facebook advertising uh, day, uh, dashboard looks like. And we might even run an ad. I, I have an ad to run. I could. We could probably whip something up really quick. But before we do that, let's see, see who's here for the first time. Who's here for the first time? Raise your hand. David Slosher. And he went and got a nice headset. I don't get any feedback. Slosher, where are you from? What are you doing? What brought you here? I'm from New Jersey. Um, you guys can hear me, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm from Jersey. I run a restoration company that has a couple offices, North and South Jersey. And uh, we do a lot of TPA work, a lot of program work, and we get squeezed a lot. And we're trying to get away from that. Well, to a point. What's your what's your breakdown uh, revenue revenue wise TPA versus retail, and then number of volume wise uh, number of jobs wise retail versus uh, TPA program work. Well, when you say retail. Um, we work with companies directly, um, a few of them. So I would say that that's, that's direct. You know, I, I, every time I talk about this, I, I get a, a, like a different answer what that is. Um, so I would say our, um, we're probably 90, uh, probably about 75% program work. And then the other 25 is this, uh, these companies we work with directly. Okay, um, I'm, I'm gonna stop you right there. Seventy-five percent program work, twenty-five percent other work, you know, direct work. Where's the majority of your profit coming from? The direct work, for sure. It's the per Pareto 
um, Roush, correct me if I'm wrong, Pareto principle, the 80-20 principle, yes? 80% of your profit is going to come from 20% of your, of your work. In the reverse, 80, uh, 20%, uh, well, it's the 80-20 principle. What, and and I'm, I'm messing it up. Maybe it's the single malt. We'll blame that. <laughs> so what, what Pareto principle says is why not concentrate? What, and, and this is not just you, David. This is that all of us. Um, I'm saying this for all of us. Why do we not concentrate on the 20% that's responsible for the 80% of our profit? The lion's share of our profit is coming from this niche, right? Why don't we double down on this niche? Yeah. Why do we continue? Why do we insist on the stubborn road of doing this other work that is way less profitable? And I, there's tons of reasons. We don't need to rehash them now. What do you, how long have you been going on down this road? 15 years. Mm. Has, has that, has that, um, has that equation been similar over the 15 years? You move no, 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 no. We started off as an environmental company um, about 20 years ago yeah. doing um, lead abatement and then mold remediation, then asbestos. We still do that. Um, we got into the restoration business probably about 12 years ago mm -hmm. with, this, with the State Farm PSP program, mm -hmm. which, which mm -hmm. was awesome. Which never was awesome. For us, it, for us, it was great. And I've never run into anybody in any other part of the country who thought it was great. For us, it was awesome. Um, and we make some of our programs work well. You know, I, I think I heard you say something at some point. Once we get to the adjuster, we never have a problem for the most part. It's, and, and that's where we're kind of holding our ground on the programs we're in. And we're starting to reject stuff and say, look, we're not doing it if we can't make money. We need to make X percent on every job to support, to support the admin to support the claims experience that they want us to provide. Exactly, exactly. That, to, to keep the POM score up, to keep the KPIs up. Yes. Well, yeah, well, f yeah, who cares about that shit? I, I, <laughs> I just want people, I want people to be happy. Um, you know, what we find is we start, we start cutting corners, people get aggravated, then those scores fall. Yeah. And, and then we just kind of got back to, we're really good at this. We do this. We're going to do it our way because we know we're going to do it well. And if we get thrown off, we, We've dropped some programs here and there. You know, we stay on the big ones. And again, you know, once we get to the adjuster, and that's our, our game, so to speak, um, we're good. We just have to get to them. Yeah, you and just got to get to them. That's the fight. So do you see the programs as, as kind of that price you have to pay in order to get access? Uh, I have. I'm starting to see it differently recently. Okay. Since I fell upon you guys. I think, I don't think necessarily that it's, um, it's, it's, it's a, in light of new information, I'm changing. I think that the, there's a life cycle to being a program vendor. And once you get to the point in the life cycle that evidently you are, it sounds like you are, you outgrow it. But there is a certain amount of time that's completely valid for any restoration contractor, especially starting out, you know, let's say zero to two million or whatever it is. It's completely acceptable to use the programs as a stepping stone to the next level. And once you reach that level, you've matured beyond what the program can provide. And then it makes sense to switch. And I would also add franchises. Is, yes. a, is an acceptable stepping stone, but continue. Yes. No, no, uh, your, your, your two cents is more than welcome. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I, I, I think, um, we should, we should another, we, we should start a hashtag called uh, TPA, uh, uh, TPA Aholics Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what we're doing here is we're getting people off the juice, right? <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen. How many steps? How many steps? <laughs> it ain't 12. It ain't 12. It's <laughs> one. It's one step. Stop. Yeah, but, but here's the thing. I mean, we have, we have a lot of guys, and, and it's a huge responsibility to keep those guys working. Yes. And, and I think we kind of sacrifice. I, I would say, for the most part, um, 
most of the programs, when you get to the, to the brass and you talk to them, they, they may not treat you that way. You know, the priority is obviously the, the client, the insurance company, but they don't want us to suffer. You know, they don't want us not to make money. Um, they, their priority obviously is, is the insurance company, but I, I think the pendulum is starting to swing the other way. Um, I know we're not naming, we're not naming programs, right? That's something mm -hmm. we don't do. Mm -hmm. um, there's one that, that I'm on that says, that have said, you know, many times, don't, don't stay on one of our programs if, if you don't feel like you can make money doing it. Because then we want to let that carrier know that we can't find coverage in your area. Mm. And, and then there's other programs that Marketing. say, Marketing. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's what we've, we've been in business for a long time and we're just starting the market this year for the first time ever. Mm. And we, we do a lot, a lot of business. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm optimistic about it because like I said, we do zero marketing, no commercial work. Um, a lot of private environmental stuff, but, um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it actually. Good. And, and to answer your question, Jason, it's three steps. Three yeah. steps. Invoice your client, ghost the TPA, start the lean clock. Boom. Three-step program. That's right. Amen, so, brother. Uh, David, thanks for being here. I appreciate you being here. Uh, we all appreciate you here. Bob, um, why don't you check Bob? Bob and Christine. How are things going with you guys? You guys just started a brand new franchise. I want to know how it's going. If you can figure out how to mute it. Uh, you want me to unmute you? I can. Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't think he has a microphone hooked up to his newfangled iMac. No, can't hear you. All right. Do this some technical, technical. Yeah, I can't hear you. I can't hear anything. It's all right. Is there a microphone plugged in? It's all right. Eric Funnel, um, you asked me earlier, how was my LA trip? Which one? Yeah. I've flown well, 62,000 miles since November. Huh. Yeah, man, you're all over the place. You, were, you, were, um, you were in Malibu. How was that up there? I was in Malibu, and I'm going back to Malibu. There's, there's, there's fires galore in Malibu. If you are anywhere near Malibu, California, you should be cleaning up right now. You should be killing it. Um, I'm, I'm interfacing with, with contractors who have no business in our industry who are killing it just by virtue of proximity. There's just because they're there? Just because they're there. Just because they're there. Now, if you are in that area, I'm going to show you how to run ads against Malibu zip codes. Let's do it. Yeah. And go get that work. You guys cool with that? You guys good with that? Let's show, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do a uh, smoke damage. Let's go smoke deodorization services in Malibu, California. Let's try that. I know, I know that's Don, but Jeremy Newman, again. Jeremy, Jeremy Newman. 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 Sir, Jeremy Newman's like a cult. It's like a cult following. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. I don't think you can hear me. I can hear you. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? That's me. Bob. Oh, there you are. Bob. Hey, there right. he is. All right. While I'm getting set up, why don't you tell us how the, how the new franchise venture is going? Uh, we, we started an advertising about a month ago. We've got roughly 50, around 50 people that are kicking tires looking at it. Um, I think it's going to be more geared towards – new people looking to get into this industry than it is people that already are in the industry. Okay. That's fair. Um, that's the geared more towards uh, first responders, retired police officers, stuff like that, that want to continue helping the communities and doing stuff like this and just don't know how to get started and how to do everything that we take for granted that we already all know what to do. Mm. So it's going to be. Kind hey, there's of a, a there was a guy, Bob. There was a. Oh, I'll have to look at. There's a couple guys on on the rebels that have posted that is saying they're getting into the business, and they they, they want to break in and they're asking questions. Uh, you ought to search and see, and you you know, hey, that might be a good fit for you. Yeah. 
So yeah, could be. I had a guy in San Jose looking to do the same thing. He had some equipment. He's working for somebody else, uh, but he had some equipment and some expertise. And and uh, so yeah, there's there's guys out there. There's guys out there. Yeah, I don't know anyone else is putting it together like I am. It's 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 a rebel franchise. <laughs> All right, I am going to, I'm going to try to decide. Once again, I decided to do this about 10 minutes ago, so I'm trying to figure this out. All right, I'm going to do a screen share. We're going to dive right into it. Bob and Christine, great to see you guys as always. I'm, except I'm seeing more Bob than Christine. That's okay. It's cool. Got a fireplace. <laughs> it's all right. All right, how do I do a share screen? I know it's around here somewhere. Not that button. There's a share. There's a share button. Let's share screen. Share screen. All right. Okay. Can you guys see this? This is my, what is this? Uh, I'm just going to close all this stuff. So this is my Facebook ad manager page. These are all the so ads. Give a chance, Andy, go ahead and expand it because it's pretty tiny. Expand like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A little better. You can uh, expand got, your screen too. Just, just for the <laughs> photo guys. I've got a right. ginormous screen now. I've got like a twenty-four inch wide screen. I don't know if you, how it was going to render for you guys. So you can zoom in with if you're like on a cell phone, you can zoom in on it too. But nice. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can get. I haven't run an ad in a long time. A long time. Let's go to my ads. Here's the ads. Okay, we did an LA class. I did an ad for two LA classes. Uh, that was a uh, claims delegates ad. Got Xactimate, uh, the pricing class. Okay, so these are all, I did 11 ads. What was my total spend? It doesn't say. So let's put together an ad. Let's let's create an ad. Let's create an ad for smoke damage Malibu, right? Is that what we we decided? Hey Andy, I may have missed it. Where where what did you want? You were on Facebook. This is oh, Facebook ad manager. Ad manager. Okay. So you need right. to have an ad account. Uh, do a Google search for Facebook ad account. Um, you need to have a business account with Facebook. Uh, if you have a business page with Facebook, they make it very easy and and seamless to do. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, you start there, start with your own Facebook page, uh, create a Facebook page for your business. If you haven't done that yet, hello, it's 2019, come on and you go do to, that. You go to if you don't have one, it prompts you to upgrade to one. Perfect. See, see, that's why we're here in this together. We're also helpful. I like that. Okay, I'm going to choose, what's a, what is my campaign objective? I want lead generation. That's what I want. Ooh, okay. Campaign name, lead generation. Let's go Malibu Smoke Damage. Uh, I don't care about any of that stuff. Smoke Damage Leads. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Ad set name, okay, Facebook, what page do I want to use? Let's use the Alliance. Let's see if we can't get the Alliance to generate some business for local Alliance members, okay. Okay, oh, do I need to, accept, yes, uh, I agree, thank you. Okay, dynamic creative, provided, no, okay, audience, this is where, this is where it's going to get cool. Custom audience. I'm going to go Malibu. Okay. I don't have a custom audience built for Malibu. Okay. That's why it's giving me that. Okay. So everyone in this location, we're going to add a location. Malibu, California. Yes. Within 25 miles of Malibu, California. That would, that would work. Okay. Let's choose, um, we don't, who, who lives in Malibu that's 18 years old? Nobody. Let's move that up. Let's say folks 35 
And I don't believe that anyone 65 and older actually uses Facebook. Maybe it's just me. Let's go uh, 35 to 60. All languages, uh, English. All right. You see that where it says Santa Clarita right there? That's where I'm at. See right there? Right, right. Up there, right there. Hang on. But you want losses. See, we're targeting people who live yeah. in this. Yeah. I'm just okay. letting you know. We're going to talk right. after this, okay? You we're going to talk after this, you and I, yeah. because I'm such a – I come to town. I don't call. I don't write. Okay, this is where it gets really interesting. Um, who who do we want to target here? We want to say um, hmm, business owners, small business owners. Let's do that. They don't have millionaires as a category. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Millionaire interests. There, you have people who are interested in being a millionaire. Let's do that. Um, uh, what else do you want to target? We've got to get this thing down. We've got to focus it a little bit more. Small business owners. Um, how about entrepreneurs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. That gives us an Enter audience. Entertainers. Entertainers. Ooh. ooh oh. Entertainer. Ha ha. No, no, no. Usher. <laughs> Usher. Let's target Usher. Let's target Usher. <laughs> we're targeting, actually, we're targeting Usher fans who yep. live in Malibu. Right. Okay. Just All so right. you know, the, the, the target audience of Usher fans is 24,521,000 people. Holy crap. That's nationwide, obviously. Yeah. What yeah. small business owners? So, uh, 10, so the, right there it says the size. That, oh, that's the size of business owners. But is that the size in the Malibu area? Our radius? No, 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 no. No, that's just that interest. People who have expressed interest on Facebook to usher are 24,521. Give me one more. Give me one more. Entrepreneurship. 301 million people on Facebook have expressed interest in entrepreneurship. Right. Okay. How about anybody in the movie business, like a uh, movie maker or something? I don't know. Uh, director. 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 Film directors. Yes. Let's do that. Okay. So we've got potential reach. This uh, Facebook says out of, out of this, we've got Malibu. We've got these interests. We have a potential reach of 440,000 people. I think that's good enough to run. Let's run with yeah. um, Save this audience. I'm going to save this audience as Malibu Rebel Targets. Stay on target. Stay on target. Chubb. We should have put Chubb in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's edit that audience. See how easy that is? I'm editing that audience. Now we're coming here. Chubb. Chubb. Employers. Ooh, that's not a bad potential. Okay, let's go. Yeah. While we're there, let's go. Is it pure? Is P P U R E? Who? How do you spell pure insurance? P U R. Maybe it is pure insurance. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe it's P U R. No, no dice. What else? Um, Chubb, yeah, I and mean, that's right. Yeah, it's P U R E insurance. Pure P U R E. See if it comes up with anything. Nope. How about um, how about smoke damage? People who have expressed interest. Yeah. In smoke damage. No, nothing. Okay, nothing. How about insurance? Claim. No. Wow. All right. Fine. 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 Whatever. Okay. I think we've got it. We've got enough to work with. Add connection type. Okay. Update that. Our audience was updated. So that's our target. Now we figure out how much we're going to spend on this target. Includes uh, automatic placements. Okay. Fine. 
Daily budget, one hundred dollars. Maintain a stable offer. Yeah, these are just all fine. Whatever. I'm going to say ten dollars per lead. Okay. Okay. Continue. See how easy this is? It just walks you through the whole thing. Can you imagine spending ten dollars on a hundred thousand dollar fire loss? Right. Get it? Ten dollars gets you a hundred thousand dollar fire loss. Who knew? Okay, okay. Single image, fine. Um, I don't have any, this is where the creative comes in. I don't have any off the shelf creative to use. Hmm, let me see. Browns Air Library. Logo. What's that? Air logo? We gotta have something compelling. Now the air logo unfortunately is not compelling for someone who has suffered water damage or fire damage. And in Malibu is fire, right? So let's see if I have something in my that's a flood image. That would have been compelling for floods. Uh da 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 da. da. This is not bad ish. Um, I just I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna go uh, phone a friend here. Phoning a friend. <laughs> let's go to my, let's go here. Let's go here. For those of you who don't know, I used to run a consulting business that did exactly made estimates all day, every day. So let's find something in here. Where is, you know what? I'm going to do you one better. You guys, have, who here uses Google Photos? Nobody? No, I don't. Oh, you got to. Use Google Photos. It's your friend. Because I'm going to type in here fire, and it's going to find some of my photos that have fire in them. Ooh, lava. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's the one. That's the one. I'm downloading it. Where were you at? Where was that? That's actually a, um, what's that media, the media company that does all the media releases. Wow. It's, um, but that's in like Malibu or Thousand Oaks area, right? This is definitely from Malibu, Thousand Oaks. I know that for sure. Yeah. Cause I remember seeing that one. You posted that once. I did. And it's not my photo, but I'm going to use it because it's public domain. Okay, I'm going to add an image. I'm going to delete that image because I don't need to promote my book. Boom. Okay, so we're going to have that add, that image, and what text? Fire damage, smoke damage. We can help. Really, this is not going to be the most compelling hundred dollars I've ever spent, but I guarantee I'm going to get a loss out of this thing. Headline: Insurance claim help for smoke damage. Look at that. This is going to be awesome. Okay, we're going to send to learn more. Where am I going to send these folks to? Blah, 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 blah. Where are we going to send them to? Okay, so they're going to be in the Alliance of Independent Restorers. So we're going to get some leads. I guarantee you we're going to get some leads coming to the Alliance of Independent Restorers page. And I'm going to need to dole these out in a hurry. So everyone on this call in the LA area, Eric, you especially, you better be getting your catchers. Yeah, no, on. but it's where... Uh... Yep. We found one error. Please fix the error. Uh, your lead ad requires a form. So this, I have to have a form? Oh, oh, this is the first for me. Okay. Options. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, questions. Ooh, ooh. You can customize a headline. Um, 
what do we need to know about you? Okay, email is a good one to start with. Full name, yes. Um, add a custom question. Short answer. Um, what type of... Oh, no, no, how about, how about this? Oh, let's do a yes, no. Let's do a yes, no. Let's come back, come back, come back, come back. Delete question. Add a custom question. Is there a yes, no? Oh, how about this? Do you have fire damage to your home or business? Answers, no. Hey, hey, Andy, does it have to be a Facebook page that we send them to or it's just any page? No, it can be, a, it can be a, a web page. What about like a Google My Business page? It could go there, but you would have to have your Google My Business page optimized to receive that lead. Otherwise, it's going to be wasted. Type in internet. because you could put in my website if you want. Yes. No. Okay. Um, let's go back there. Let's let's see. Well, okay. Let's finish the. Let's finish this. Because you'll be collecting it. In, you need to link to your company's privacy policy. Ugh. Oh no! I may have reached the end of the road. I don't have a link to that. Is that a privacy policy for like? Or like cookies I guess because I know it's a law now you have to have a privacy policy and they have to, everyone has to know about it if you run cookies uh, see if it flies. Uh, thank you screen okay uh, okay. What's your website, Eric? Uh, it's renewsocal.com. So it's R E N E W. Um, Sweet. Finish. Oh, now what? You, you guys see uh, intro? No. There. Finish. Look at that. Submit. Okay. Done. Confirm. So, do you see how easy that was? It's on. It's running. We know we said a hundred dollar. We said a hundred dollar a day. A hundred dollar a week. What do we say? Let's see. We said a hundred dollar daily. So I might shut this off tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> We shall see. If, so, it's, if I get a call by tomorrow, I'll let you know. We'll keep it on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Use checks in the mail. I'll right? give you my credit card. Um, there we go. Okay, so that's it. Uh, and and believe me, it's it's a looks a whole lot more complicated than it really is. Um, it takes some getting used to navigating all this stuff, but once you get it going, it works. There's a reason. Gary Vaynerchuk, if you haven't seen him at all, go find his. Hey, Dean, you're out here waiting in the you're waiting in the lobby. Dean, get in here. If you haven't watched Gary Vaynerchuk, go do a search on YouTube. Gary Vaynerchuk, London keynote. And this man gets north of six figures to give keynote speeches. He gets six figures to fly places to talk to people about his digital strategy, digital media strategies. And Gary Vaynerchuk is saying right now is the best time for small businesses to get into Facebook and Instagram ads. It's the cheapest eyeballs we will ever have. This is the last chance. Probably the last 24 months, businesses like you and I can get into the game of advertising on Facebook and, and Instagram. It's easy. It's cheap. We're gonna. This is going to be ROI positive. Eric, it better be. <laughs> it's, but it's going to be. This is going to be ROI. I'm going to spend $100. It's going to, it's going to return north of $1,000. I guarantee it. I guarantee it because I know how these things work. We need to get into these ecosystems. 
the Alliance of Independent Resources getting deep into this. We are going to dive deep into this. We are going to be generating leads all the markets that we have a, a critical mass. And we're going to be doling out these leads for pennies on the dollar because that's how cheap the eyeballs are. So let's let's blend the two tops we've been talking about, right? Let's Getting blend it. Okay, who has a TV right? on? Oh, who is, hold on a second. Somebody does. Nope. Uh, who else? Who else? I don't see anyone else in here. Is it you, Eric? No. No, I got Dave Matthews on in the background. Ah, <laughs> uh, it was Don. I'm sorry, Don. It was you. I muted you. I could hear the TV. Go ahead. Okay. So what I was thinking. So let's getting off the TPA work, right? Trying to do your own thing, right? This is how you do it. So exactly. Talk, talk to John Grubb. If you're looking to get off the TPAs, obviously you gotta you gotta fill the tank somehow. You gotta get you got to throw the coal in the fire somehow. And, um, you know, getting on program work, that's what it does, right? It just comes in regularly and so on and so forth. And so, yeah, I can see how it can get, um, uh, you, you get worried that the work isn't going to come. So start off finding your own work, get, get out there, finding your own work, find your own customers. Tip this your toe in the to water. water. Yes. Just tip your toe in. You can be on a TPA and still advertise on your own. There's nothing stopping you. These are cheap eyeballs. And, and Jonathan Grubb, uh, United Restorers, does PPC, pay-per-click. Pay-per-click still works. But what's happened, and we can, we can take our cue from the PPC market. What's happened in PPC is the big businesses have realized that's, that's a good way to get money, and they've bid up these prices and some markets to be number one for the search results for water damage is like three, $400, right? Per click, per click. And, and what we just did, what I just showed you guys is, is probably in it. Well, I set the price at $10, but um, it's probably like $5 a CPN. CPN is, is thousand views. So $5 gets a thousand eyeballs to see what we just put out there. Hmm. It's cheap. Yeah. And it, it, it's going to get results it, yeah. it better because that's a hundred dollars, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so there, it'll cost me more in gas to get out there to then to get that lead. Depends on the time of day, right? Yeah. Depends on the time of day, yeah. but you're coming South, right? I mean, you get it. No, I'm, you know, I'm West. I'm inland. South, southwest. South. So I'm, I'm a little north. And so I'll, I'll come down. Yeah, because I'm actually based 45 minutes northeast, Santa Clarita. So Malibu is about two and a half hours from me. Mm. So, oh, that far? Really? Yeah. But, but it was only far. like that far on the map. <laughs> right. Well, that was Santa Clarita. That's where I work. I live 45 minutes north of Santa Clarita. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're practically. But that's all right. It, it, all right. I, I've been I've been trying to work guys that I know that are over there trying to 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 get some jobs. I just haven't drove down there, so, and that's well, what I wanted to talk to you about once this is all done. If you've actually had eyes on it, I'd love to to talk to you about it. It's it's I have. Um, it's I it's heard it's everywhere. a mess down there. It's like you'll have one house and then there'll be ten houses burned all around it. Well, yeah, when there a thousand oaks, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Um, and what I'm seeing, what I saw in Malibu, I didn't see a lot of total losses in Malibu. Uh, it, it probably was, had a lot to do with where I was. Uh, I saw a lot of smoke damage in Malibu. I saw a lot of, like these folks, I was at their entire row, it was a 20 foot high Arborvita or whatever it was, probably not Arborvita, but something burnt to a crisp. And the only thing that saved their house is their house was stucco and in a flat rolled roofing. I mean, just nothing to burn and not, nothing to catch. Um, so everything, all the vegetation burned around them, but their house was intact, but they had major smoke damage. Yeah. Um, so a lot of those, especially in Malibu, you had a lot of vegetation because it was kind of moist area. You got a lot of, you get that ocean air with that moisture. So you, 
some of these houses have vines growing up the side of the house. The vines cut on fire, but the house was intact because it was stuck on fire. So it's, it's hit or miss. Yeah. Why is everyone a Newman tonight? Well, because Newman is the man. You didn't know he's the unofficial mascot of the Alliance of Independent Restorers, <laughs> Mr. Ardno. Um, <laughs> everyone's a Newman because I couldn't figure out how to post the link. So Newman posted the link out of the kind of his, of his own heart. Uh, so that's all I have for tonight. Who else? Uh, is, let's open mic it. Open mic it. I want to hear how, um, how, how that class is going in Dallas. It's, a, it's an estimating and scoping class. Am I right, um, Mr.? Mr. Roush, Roush, Mr. Roush, why don't you chime in? The information's very good. Uh, David Compton has uh, opened some eyes uh, for some of us. Uh, he's got folks he's been working with out here for a while. Uh, Mr. Brown is back there also observing. Downtown Clark Brown's in the house. Mm -hmm. So um, it's very helpful. Looking forward to more information uh, that's coming. Good. Is that is that a two or three day class? Three. Three. So how many? Um, do you know if David Compton is having more of these classes into the future? Okay, this Probably. is a test test run for him. Probably. Okay. Yep. Uh, who all here is going to Large Loss Mastery at uh, Cape Canaveral in February? Nobody. Oh well, I'll post a link in the group. I'm going. Clark's going. Uh, it's going to be a good, interesting thing. That's where, you know, all of us that chasing these large loss riches, right? We're going to learn how to do it somewhere. So we'll be. There's in, also in um, something going on in Salt Lake. Salt Lake is two weeks from now, the Elevate Conference. Uh, I will be at the Elevate Conference. Uh, the, the 11th of February is Actual Insights is running their Race with the Machines contest. They're doing a Matterport camera drone uh, augmented estimating. So that's going to be real interesting on that Monday, uh, the Elevate Country. Go to uh, getinsights.org for more information on that. And uh, Summit, Summit, Summit. What did we decide, Ardno? What, what date did we decide? We're looking at Boulder, Colorado. Uh, May the what? May the what for the next? What well, exit wouldn't be the next. There will never be another Rebel Summit. It will be the first annual Alliance of Independent Restorers Summit. And I believe Timmel, he says, Bob, he just volunteered you to uh, chime in. Um, what's that? What, what do you mean, Danny? Explain yourself by that comment. Explain yourself. Yeah. <laughs> what I get volunteered for, I missed it. Uh, Ardno volunteered you to say uh, that you were helping with the uh, with the Alliance Summit coming up. I'm sure I will. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> see, Art Ardno's too busy. I will have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> he's too busy posting things. That's right. I think he's he, got a partner to do work for him. <laughs> well, yeah, he doesn't have to do any real work anymore. He just Facebooks all day. Yeah, exactly. All right, Danny, what do you know? No, I, I took a Facebook break for a little while because I've been on it too much. Ah. Uh, uh, and now I hear everybody's going to Cape Canaveral. Now I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I might have some discount tickets I can post for you later on. Who knows anything about Wind, uh, wind uh, Storm Ventures Group, Wind Storm? I had a guy reach out to me today, offer me some discount tickets to that thing. Anyone know anything about that? Uh, I mean, I'm a follower of the Facebook group. It's, uh, from what I see of it, it's a lot of, uh, roofing professionals. Uh, I mean, heavy okay. the roofing, follow, follow and chase storms in and out quickly, uh, mass marketing production. Ah, uh, okay. Not, that's just not my jam. It doesn't sound like my jam. Are we muted? Um, okay. Yeah. Kevin Brown said none of the links seem to be working tonight. Sorry, we're over our hour, so we're not going to. Come back to that. All right. I will revisit that later. Uh, who here Who here is willing to raise their hand and say, I will start a Facebook ad campaign tomorrow? Yes. Mr. I just started one. 
30 Eric, years ago. Actually, you, you kind of <laughs> just did. You kind of <laughs> just did. Uh, I invite you to start your own. <laughs> but yes. Uh, yeah, I invite definitely. you all, if, if in a, in a, this is not a scenario where you're going to go find a 26-year-old nephew to do this for you. This is something we as business owners need to take onto ourselves and understand how these platforms work. Get your businesses onto these platforms and then start advertising on these platforms. You have a way. Is that Mr. Taboyan? What the crap? Oh my word. That guy moved to a new office. That's, I don't even recognize that space anymore. He doesn't call, he doesn't write, but he shows up for the round table. I love it, I love it. Hey, what oh is going on? All right, so uh, by virtue of last person in the room, Mr. Taboyan has the last word. Let's hear it. <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> What's a good word, man? How's San Francisco? Uh, it's rocking and rolling. Did you hook up with the man that I hooked you up with in San Jose? I sent him. Uh, I sent a message. I haven't, we haven't uh, had a chance to talk yet, but I uh, I'm interested. I want to I want to connect with him. Okay, good. Well, do that. He's he's got equipment and willpower uh, and right. manpower. So. I he's an independent guy? He's independent. Um, I'll let you guys fill in the blanks. I can't say any more, but yeah. Uh, good to see you, man. Good to see you. All right. That wasn't much for a last word. Who else wants a last word? I've got a quick question for you Morris, about the ahead. ad campaigns. Go ahead. So Facebook, when I, I think of it more as an individual's platform, if you're trying to target end users or individuals, um, homeowners, that sort of thing, do you see – positive results trying to target businesses um, for like commercial mold jobs or commercial water jobs. Who runs businesses? No, that, that's a good point. Um, you can, I don't know. What we didn't see in, in my brief overview, and because I was in a hurry, um, not really organized, what you didn't see is you can, you can, you can dial down for that demographic. You can say, I only want to target people who say they make over $100,000 a year. You can do that. That qualifies someone that's probably a business owner, yeah? It's probably a decision maker. Yeah, so good point. Demographic dialing down. So and the, the reality is we're all there. We're all on Facebook. I get a lot of uh, leads from Home Advisor from old jobs but probably 25% of them are people that can't even afford the mold testing. And oh, yeah. so, yeah, that's, I, I want to make sure I don't get those uh, in my Facebook ads and I've run Facebook ads, but now I realize I've been running them incorrectly. So what you showed us tonight really helps me a lot. And, and what I didn't show you is the magic of, of retargeting and, and uh, lookalike audiences. So on my Facebook page, or not, I'm sorry, my web page, I have a Facebook pixel. And that pixel allows me to pull an audience of the last 180 days who visited my website. So they get a cookie, you know, whoever visits my website or whatever page I decide, I just go my whole website. Um, I, I tell Facebook, look for those folks that have been to my website in the last 180 days. And maybe it's 200 people, right? I'm not that popular. But Facebook has this magical thing called a lookalike audience. I can take those 200 people that have visited my website. That, that's, that, that indicates a higher level of interest, right, in the services I may provide. And I say, Facebook, take those 200 people and multiply it, tell it, take their demographics. I want to copy them and paste them until they're 2 million people. And I want to target that audience. It's called a lookalike audience. And then you create your ad, your creative, which we didn't spend a lot of time in tonight, but creative is important. Your content is important. That's why I put so many videos out into the world. You take your ad and place that against that 2 million people who look identical or very close to the 200 people that visited your website. You're going to convert at a much, much higher rate. And I've had some guys call me in the past week or so um, 
I guess they do the Facebook marketing slash advertising for you. And mm-hmm. one of the big things they talk about is impressions. You want to get at least six impressions per month. So when we're doing it on our own, the way you just showed us, is there the ability to make sure you get a certain number of impressions for the specific user? Or is it just, you know, if they see it, they see it. Impressions per month, impressions per month. Not sure. Not sure. Let me interject there. Go ahead. And just yeah. say, um, I think uh, one person to talk to, if anybody, one person that's in the Rebel group to talk to about Facebook ads would be Chris Perry. Um, yep. He's been with uh, doing face running Facebook ads. Uh, what I heard this week from John Grubb was that he's been running Facebook ads since uh, Facebook was only targeting college age people, mm. college students. So uh, um, he's definitely the guru to go to. Um, but yeah, to answer all these questions, and you can hit him up on the Rebel page and just ask a question and tag him, and he'll okay. He'll sure he'd be willing to answer. Awesome. Chris effing Perry, as he's called. And <laughs> every he was day. at the summit. He was at the summit. Yes, every day nomenclature. Uh, so I'm going to show you my audiences. Uh, I have several audiences set up, and these are set up to renew. There's there's like auto refresh audiences. So where's my all audiences? Okay, so we just created this audience. Right, Wait, where'd it go? I just saw Malibu right there. Oh, there it is. No, Malibu. That we just created that right. That's an audience. We we cr- we created an audience of 440,000 potentials. We're targeting. Uh, here is, oh, it keeps popping up. Okay, so here's one, CD plus LI plus connections. Okay, this is claims delegates, impressions from the Facebook pixel on my webpage. LinkedIn, those are my LinkedIn connections. And then I don't know what connections means. Okay, and then I further segmented that audience to West Coast states. So I chose a specific set of states I was going to advertise to. Uh, it doesn't say how big that audience is, though. Uh, let's go. Okay, here it is. Uh, okay, last 180 days traffic connections or LinkedIn 2018. So those are people who connected with me in 2018. I forget which. Then I chose Arizona, California, Colorado, Idaho, Nevada. This must have been um, must have been to one of the classes I was trying to hold. Uh, and then I chose. But you can see how I broke these things down. Here's another lookalike audience. Uh, so I took the overall United States population, 1% of the population who match, best match, my LinkedIn connections 2018, my claims delegates, pixel website village visits 180 days, and my video views, because I have my Facebook pixel on my YouTube account as well, 25%. Anyone who viewed 25% or more of one of my 280 YouTube videos, right? You can see how granular you can get with this stuff. And that's why people are killing it with really focused, compelling advertising that's targeted to their target market. And you can see, I mean, this look at all these. Here's a lookalike audience I created. This is just website visits, 1% of the US population. That's 2.1 million people that I blasted that ad out to. Um, you can see that this is why, this is the power. This is, this is the power. This is the game changer of why Facebook and, and Instagram advertising is so powerful because they have our demographics. They and know who we are. Yeah, go ahead. And can can the ads also target specific words? Like if they're typing yes. water damage. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Abs- I mean, yes, you could target just that, but it's going to be a massive, it's going to be too big. It's going to be too broad. So you can't just target water damage. You got to target water damage, Santa Clarita, right? And then right. you go, okay. you further narrow it down. I, I like to narrow it down by, what I believe is going to be a decision maker age 
and and that's not an 18 year old uh, not in santa, santa clarita yeah. not in malibu uh, well my town santa clarita is a very uh it's wait a who raised their hand oh chris chris late aka downtown clark brown raised his hand like a good boy what is up mr dallas Hello. What's hey. up, man? How's there everyone is. tonight? Hello, Good, guys, man. gals. How are y'all? We started without you because okay. I hope so. See? Well, I we don't want to disrupt your flow. I just wanted to say hello to everyone. I'm listening in. I don't got a flow. We're all we're done. We're like 15 minutes over done. So it's your it's no, your mic. Eric, Eric has a flow. No, it's, it's an Eric show tonight. <laughs> he does. No, it ain't. It's it's all Andy. He's paying for it too. <laughs> 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 you know what this i i love it i i love putting my money where my mouth is because i just i got faith it's just gonna this is gonna this is gonna work because how many losses does it take for this to work yep just the one baby just yep. the one. this better oh, be on the next cute. round table if this actually works oh it's gonna work I was just thinking <laughs> i'm gonna hear the results tomorrow more yeah. of the next round table. <laughs> i'll <laughs> let you guys know it needs to be. Yes. I'm gonna blow it up. You see a big old. Smile Is that on Jeremy face, Newman? A pile of char behind me. <laughs> Jeremy Newman looks different tonight. What happened? Well, <laughs> look around the room, my friend. There's a lot he's of been, Jeremy. He's been cloned. There's a whole lot of le- Jeremy. <laughs> a lot. Around. I'll tell you that right now. So uh, we're way past our time. I love y'all. It's great to see y'all. It's great to be back. And uh, I'm looking forward to re-engaging in a major way. I'll give you fully full results, full disclosure on everything on on Eric's new ad campaign in the coming weeks. All right, see y'all. See ya. Bye.